Hello, is anybody out there? Let me just have a look. Oh, yes. Cool. Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Sometime on Monday projects. <laughs> we have them every Monday here in our class. This is our classroom of our store. We're actually closed on Monday, so I can get all the behind the scenes stuff done here at Paint Me Vintage in Tauranga. Um, and yes, it's sometimes on Mondays because I don't know what time I'm going to do it. Um, and I haven't been doing them on public holidays either. So welcome back because there wasn't one last weekend. Um, if you're on here, give me a thumbs up, say hello. We will be recording this so we will repost it into our Facebook page. And also we have created a YouTube page where we've got, um, we are reposting them there too, which seems to be a little bit easier for you to be able to find them. So today we're going to be playing with our metallic concentrates. This is a new, pro um, new product um, to us. It's kind of been, we've had similar, but um, yeah, this is just a cool new way of having it. It leaves all the control with you to work out how intense or strong or not that you want to use the metallic um, concentrates on your projects. So this is gonna be fairly quick. It's gonna be a mix and play. But what I've got is one of these amazing flexi wood, um, 3D uh, wooden faces and I have painted it black and I did that um, because I want to uh, recreate this with a metallics all over it but I thought black would be really good because you'll be able to see it really really well on there. Flexi wood is um, as the name sounds a flexible product very hard and brittle in this state and then you heat it up with either a good strong hairdryer or a heat gun is really good and then it becomes floppy and that means that you can get good adhesion gluing this onto other projects but also you can drill it and cut it and bend it and all those things so really cool product so I've got one pre-painted let me find it put that gently over here so here she is all painted in black and then that's very hard and brittle there. I have got my um, iPad going as well, so I can see any comments and just make sure that we're going okay. So yeah, so she is cool, but I thought she had lots of beautiful detail where I could mix up a few of the concentrates and highlight that even further. So let's bend you down and we'll have a wee look. Down to the table. Ooh. Cool. Oh, I see it won't quite right. I think that's all right. Right, cool. All right, hoping that. Oh, yeah, no, that's good. You can see. You can see that, I think. And hopefully it's in focus. Yes. Okay, so all I did was painted her all over. Um, I used this type of brush um, to get into all the nooks and crannies. She's got some dust on her now. We'll dust that off. Um, with our carbon black that's our beautiful matte black um, chalk paint I like to paint um, things I'm going to do metallic first if possible you can use the concentrates straight over different substrates um, but you will probably have to do more layers to get um, to get a more intense look so by playing down um, a colored uh, chalk paint first just gives a really nice base for the concentrates to go and I've just found it looks like way way easier so let's show you I will mix one up oh I've got a lid off on that one so the common den denominator around all the concentrates is the illuminator which comes in this pot here um, it's really liquidy show you here it's got lots of slip to it um, and it's what makes the concentrates turn into a liquid 
and gives them their pop. So you need to stir it really well. You also need to clean this rim really well because the lid can get glued on. So make sure you do that when you take the lid on and off. And then we have all these cool little accessories as well for our metallics if you um, want accessories. There's this little, um, it's called a mixing dish that you can get, which is um, lab grade glass. You get that little set of two. And as you can see, I've got quite a few of them on the go. And uh, so yeah, we um, what it does, it just contains your metallic into a little, um, one little area so it doesn't all spread out. Oh, all right, what am I gonna do? I might start and do some sort of color down here. There's lots of colors to choose from. Somerset gold, a really soft gold. I'll show you all the golds first. Indie gold, which is your bright, bright yellow gold. And then Artemis bronze is a bit nice because it's like an antique, um, antique gold. I think we might just go full blast indie gold to start with. So give this, this is a powder, a wee shake. Oh! So this is definitely not full, but you can see by shaking it, it um, if I tap that a little bit, um, by shaking it, it actually mixes all the, these fine um, pigments together. So that's important. And then I like to use these just little disposable dropper things. They're a dollar. They're not made to do any more than one project. We actually clean them out and use them until they get totally blocked because what it does, it sucks up a nice little bit of the illuminator. And I only need a little bit because I'm only doing this teeny tiny project um, so that you don't make that all messy. And then I'm going to get my special metallic uh, spoon set. I don't really have any ratios, um, well certainly none recorded of, add, of adding um, concentrate uh, to, the, uh, to the illuminator yet, um, but that will come. There is a recipe book in the works, so you just need to stir that together really well. Actually recorded a super quick video actually during the week and posted that yesterday too where I used these on um, some really old uh, hardware um, on, a, on my big tool boy and that worked really really well. I always get that little bit up off there, we don't want to waste. Alright, this is my Stylemeister angled brush. I use this all the time with metallics. It has a really, I'm not going to touch that, really lovely soft bristle. You can see it's an angle so I can get into lots of different places. I also use this teeny tiny one, which is the series one one. And if I'm doing a big piece, I will use the Stylemeister spelter brush. This is really good for brushing it out, but we're not going to do that today. We are just going to get some on our brush and see if we can create on here so I'm just super gently look at that brushing tips of my bristles onto what would you call this this is like her collar and then I just want to tip this up because I want it to look cool from all angles. And we'll do this wee area too. So when I mentioned you control how intense these are, the more of the uh, metallic concentrate you add into your illuminator, the more intense you can get your metallic to be. And the less you put in, you can just create a beautiful soft glaze. So how easy is that? So easy. Like, mix it and then wipe it and then all those details have popped out. 
Uh, right, what else will I do? What colour will I use next? Um, might do a little bit of copper. Did I use copper last time on something? It looks like I had. Anyhow, anywho, let's do that. Wipe this brush off. Don't seem to have brought any water up here. That's okay. Right. Get a little bit more of my illuminator into a dish. Like literally that tiny amount. Look how much I had left just from doing that dusting. I'm going to use that on something else after the project. Where's my copper gone? Oh, here. Copper rose. Beautiful, intense, very strong color. Of dusting, I might just put a tiny bit more in there. Stir that together. I really do find the brush picks up, I guess, because it's got this soft bristles rather than a popsicle stick. The um the delicate leftover bits of um, powder that haven't actually gone in. Right, I might, I might do here. Make that a bit more full on. Gosh, that just really pops as soon as I put it on, doesn't it? And then, might just do, might get another tiny brush. So I'm going to use my tiny series one brush because she's got these flowers just up here. So that will allow me to be just a little bit more precise. All the way up the hat she's wearing. I think it's a hat. I think we might brush this wee flower as well. I think that's an earring. So if that's the case, I'll do the other side as well. <laughs> you can mix the concentrates together as well if you want to create your very own colorway, which is really cool. That looks pretty tricky. Um, and then I'll just do one more color. What will we do? We might do the Milan. So this is like, I always call this a petrol color, but it's called Milan Moon Shadow. Suck a little bit up. Put that in there. I've shaken this already. Gorgeous. And I want this to be quite strong, so I've put a couple of dashes in there. I'm going to do the fan detail. Stir together. I might use a new brush so that stays to be that beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Right, wipe that off. I'm just going to do that fan detail. 
detail. Oh, nearly went into the wrong one. This Milan Moon Shadow, I find, mixes, um, or layers rather, really beautifully with some of the golds. Don't worry, I'm not going to paint all of this. I've just given you just an idea of how it can be used and really make your projects pop. Yeah, how cool does she look? A bit different how she was before. So I'll finish her up and then I will do, I'll do a post probably tomorrow, Tuesday, of what she looks like finished. But I have this other wee project that I've got going on in the studio, paint studio. Oh, it just looks so much more intense in person than on the camera. Um, and I'm going to show you that. This is Milan Moon Shadow, just on a funny wood thing. Um, painted all over with a little bit of Somerset gold over the top, which is that really soft gold. Um, yeah, so let me bring over. I have been working on... Oh, this is... Not going to be able to fit it in without knocking everything over. Okay. This kind of, it's like a paper mache weird thing, but it had this, I've added all this detail, but did have this line around the edge. So I thought what I could do, because I'm making up all these colors anyway, is do a little bit of this on camera. I might use this teeny tiny brush. Because I've still got quite a bit of work of layering I want to do on here. And um, I can put this on. This will dry and be permanent and I can layer over it if I want to. How am I going to do this? Let me show you. No. Maybe here. So again, my teeny tiny brush so I can be kind of precise. Bearing in mind, I'm showing you a work in progress, not something that's finished. I think this is probably only about halfway through. But it just had this cool frame on it. And I thought it just was crying out for a wee picture. And I've used a Mint by Michelle picture on there. And I'm going to go back in with some more um, black work and some more texturing. And see, I've added on some appliques and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, look how much better does that look to that? Just makes that frame pop. So yeah, I'll finish this this project this week and um, I'll show you that. That's going to go into the shop for sale. And um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit more of a more in-depth look into how you could potentially use um, the metallics. Of course, you can do whole pieces of furniture as well. And I've done videos of our, um, just trying to get my little face. I've done um, a couple of videos showcasing our big um, shelving unit that is actually our full glam unit that is actually sold but it is here for about two more weeks so if you were wanting to come in and have a look at that in, in person come in and have a look before we have to pack it up and goes to its new home thank you so much for joining us guys um as i said we will put this on uh what's it called when we replay it and we'll post it so you can refer to it anytime. If you've got any questions, let me know. And if you want any of these products, you can go to paintmevintage.co.nz. Thanks for joining us. See you all.